Hey guys, what's up? It's Corbs. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my bag collection. Over the past few months, I've acquired a lot of Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and Coach stuff. Really obsessed with collecting bags. I have like six bags to show you guys. I'm going to be showing you my top three favorites. And I'm also going to be showing you guys the stuff that I use the most. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So right here is the first bag that I ever purchased. It's probably one of my favorite bags that I own right now, but I don't use it as much as I would like to just because the material material here. Not my favorite material. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like this suede kind of fabric to it. It can get really dirty really easily so I try not to use this bag as much. This is what the bag looks like. And on the straps they have these little chains and I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. I get so many compliments whenever I use this bag. I purchased this bag for $113 from the Michael Kors store. It's probably one of my favorite bags because I love the color, I love the design on it. I think it's actually really cute. <laughs> So right here is the next bag that I purchased. It's the MK printed bag. It's fully leather. I purchased this bag for $368 from the Michael Kors store. I really like this bag just because it's simple. It doesn't really have a lot going on, which makes it very just like an everyday bag. This is one of my favorites just because I like the straps. I also love just the design on it. I love the MK print on it. I think it makes it stand out from the rest of the bags, but at the same time, it also is very simple and very much an everyday bag. Next up on the list is my little Kate Spade bag that I bought about three weeks ago. This is the bag that I currently am using right now. It is one of my favorites because I love how small it is. It just makes it very easy to travel with. But also, it's just plain black, which I don't really have any plain black bags. This one's very small. A lot of people have been asking me how much I paid for this one. It retails for $269 at the Kate Spade store, but I got this bag for $65 from the Kate Spade outlet. Show you guys the rest of my bags but i'm not going to be explaining each bag i will have the price where i got it from in the brand i'm gonna be doing a montage of that so let's cue the montage here I had purchased at the Michael Kors store. It is one of my favorites. I haven't used it as much. I just really love this color. So I purchased it in the red color. They come in more than one color. There is a army green, there's a navy blue, there's the red, there's white, and there's also the black. The Michael Kors store, this wallet retails for $228, but I got this off of the 80% rack. So it was about $80 but yeah I just really love the color of this one and I think this is a stunning ruby red it also has a zipper on the back that if you want to use you can put money inside there I think this is a great wallet for the fall time because it's like an apple red and I think that's absolutely stunning I purchased this little wristlet wallet for $90 from the Michael Kors store, but online this retails for $228. As you guys can see, I'm currently using this wallet and you can fit up to 17 cards in here. As you guys can see, there's a little money slot on both sides and there's also a coin holder in here, which I think is great because I do get a lot of use out of this. I love this one just because it fits in most of my bags. This one also matches one of my bags besides that it has the gold zipper, but I love the gold accent on it because I think that's absolutely stunning on it. This is more of a cream colored finish on it and it also has the MK emblem all over it. As you guys can see, they are pretty similar besides this one has the silver on it and this one has the gold. I think you can get a lot of use out of the longer wallet. 
last but not least, this is my only little wallet that I have. Um, I actually use this one for school. This one is cute. It also came with this bag. So these ones match identically. They both have the gray and silver on them. When you take this wallet and you open it up, it has the gray on it, just like my Michael Kors bag. They have the same stitching and the same print on them, which makes them really good to go together. I really love using these two. They're like a dynamic duo, so it's kind of like a must have. I use this one quite a bit. This is one of the smaller ones that I use because it can fit inside my Kate Spade bag. This one is the smallest bag that I own. I am using this one right now as well because I am currently using the small Kate Spade bag. So not a big wallet can fit in it, so I use this one for school. But I really like this one and the price was really good for it. You have seven cards that you can hold in here. And also there is a little money pouch that also comes with it. I really like this one because I store my money in here, but also I can keep a good decent amount of cards in here. This one's more of just like an everyday wallet because it's just small, it's cute, it's pretty. And also it matches with a lot of my bags that I have. No matter what bag or what color I use, I think the white and the gray always match with it. And I think that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys know me, you obviously know that I am a bag collector and a bag lover. I hope to keep updating you guys on which bags that I'm buying and for the prices because I really love these bags, all of them that I have and the wallets. So I just want to educate you guys on which ones to buy and the prices and where you guys can find them at. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.